China's legislature appears to be making some significant decisions regarding diplomacy, military spending, and economic policy. However, one of the most noticeable differences this year is that there was no mention of South Korea, possibly owing to its anger over Seoul's deployment of the THAAD missile defense system. Kim Jong-soo has the details from the annual National People's Congress. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang kicked off the 12th session of the National People's Congress with a reading of the Communist Party's latest work report, which serves to highlight past achievements and offer a big picture of what can be expected from the Asian superpower in the coming year. But the annual report makes no mention of South Korea, a stark contrast from reports in the past two years, which has stressed the economic benefits resulting from the free trade agreements signed by the two countries in 2015. One expert speculated about the reason why. It's best to see this annual speech as an instance of psychological warfare. China omitting South Korea in its own way by indirectly communicating its dissatisfaction with the THAAD deployment. But the speech also deliberately omitted North Korea as well. By this, China is trying to make people think that stability on the Korean peninsula is a minor issue that doesn't require serious attention. The report has also sparked controversy because the premier omitted the exact figures for the country's defense budget from his speech, despite growing calls from the international community for greater military transparency. The Chinese finance ministry subsequently released a detailed version of the defense budget on Sunday. It surpasses the 1 trillion yuan mark for the first time, amounting to 1.04 trillion yuan, or 151 billion U.S. dollars. Lastly, it is worth mentioning that China has designated its target GDP growth rate for 2017 as 6.5 percent, which is lower than the 6.5 to 7 percent range targeted back in 2016. It is also the lowest in 25 years. Experts say this could mean China will spend a year focusing on improving domestic infrastructure and preventing social unrest, which they say South Korea should consider as well. The latest figures from the speech indicate that China is becoming more cautious about its economic growth, with the rise of several risk factors. Likewise, South Korea may have to prepare itself against a possible protraction of unfavorable trade relations with China, while being on the lookout for any possible developments. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.